Today we're going to be talking for younger players about how to actually hold the French horn. A lot of times you'll see mistakes um, in a lot of different ways, um, so we just want to make sure that it's a nice, comfortable way for you to hold the horn. The first thing is your left hand. Um, you'll put your pinky right in the pinky ring. You'll put your thumb right by either the thumb hook for a single horn or by the trigger for a double horn. And then just put the fingers as they are comfortable on the first, second, and third valves. Then you're going to take your right hand and put that right into about the two o'clock position, if this is a clock, in the bell. Um, then you have to decide how you're going to hold, pick up the horn and hold it. Um, some players play with the horn on the leg, some players play with the horn off the leg. Um, and it's really a matter of personal preference, um, but it also kind of it depends on how big the student is. Um, for me, when I play with the horn on the leg, it ends up with my mouthpiece kind of on my throat. A lot of players, it's up here on their forehead when they're younger. Um, but you can find an angle that kind of works for the player if you play it on the leg, since the horn is a little heavy for young students. Um, I like to play off the leg because it gives me a little bit more versatility as far as tone color. When it's off the leg, you get a nice clear sound. When it's on the leg, you get a nice veiled dark sound. Um, but otherwise, the, the one main thing you want to make sure is that you pick it up and it's at a natural angle to you. Um, you want the mouthpiece to come to you naturally and the lead pipe to have kind of a downward angle, um, but that's facing forward. You don't want it kind of facing down like this. I see a lot of young players playing like this. Um, but you want this to kind of aim forward. Um, otherwise, um, you should be good to go and that's generally how we hold the horn.